Hi and welcome Capricorn, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your monthly tarot reading for August 2019. Now it is a general reading, so always trust your own intuition and guidance, what resonates with you, leave what does not. If you want a personal reading with me, more attuned to your own energy and circumstances, reach out. I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. Uh, I have extended the coupon code for August up until the end of August, it's going to pop up over here in a second. You can get $10 off my 45 minute extended personal reading. All you need to do is take that coupon code across to the booking form, enter it when prompted to get your $10 off. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome, awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, you'll get more great content from me. And for those that regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome, love your support. And uh, for those of you that are new, my readings are quite different. I not only read the tarot intuitively, I'm also a transformational coach in uh, mind body soul balance as well as an energy healer i work with clients all around the world in terms of chakra balancing and moving from st helping you move from stuck states as well as healing the soul light the inner child you can read the akashic records in terms of your past life uh, soul origin as well as past life information so i bring all of that to my reading so i just ask that you keep an open mind and open heart um, and allow the guidance to flow through to you all right let's get started so lots of beautiful crystals on every deck to amp things up called in my high spirit guides as well as any angels and beings of light watching over you at this time to help with the guidance we're going to open up your reading with the heart and soul deck by tony carmine so let know let's see what you need to know capricorn mm. oh wow this is beautiful so you've got two boughs of a tree, little love hearts cut out of them, but they're kind of like, uh, they're bending towards each other, but also wrapped around each other. And uh, it says Capricorn, every relationship goes through changes, but this does not mean that the love has gone. Let this be a time of reflection. Some adjustments may be needed. Perhaps a new purpose needs to be discovered. It may feel cold and lonely, but beneath the surface, the earth is warming to the promise of spring. In the meantime, express how you feel gently, lovingly, and honestly. Let yourselves be vulnerable and hold each other tight. Wow. Kind of speaks to those of you that are in a relationship right now. All right. So we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus with the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Uh, so these can be challenges, opportunities coming your way, things that you need to know about. Uh, sometimes I get warnings from spirit too, yeah. Uh, it can also be helping you to move from any stuck states and how to get through that, yeah. So let's see what you need to know, Capricorn. Mm. First message you've got is clear out the old, yeah, to release those things that you no longer need taken forward, whether it's people, places, circumstances, ways of being, thought patterns, emotions um oh before we do get started i will just mention which i've told all the other signs here is there's a super important date coming in august the 8th of the 8th yeah it is the lion's gate opening what does it mean it means that the uh, star sirius which is one of the largest stars in our universe uh, often represents the uh, origin of the star masters ascended masters as well it's aligning up with earth but it also aligns up it's very much connected to ancient egypt yeah so it aligns when the sun comes up, it aligns the earth, the star, Sirius, lines up with the top of the pyramid of Giza, yeah? What happens is this massive influx of cosmic energy comes through. So it can help you with ascension, which means, you know, some of you may come to a spiritual awakening or more connection into your spirituality, your spirit guides, your uh, more, um, I guess, insight into your divine gifts and talents, your soul light origin, uh, it's a perfect time. You can also instigate um, transformation on a big on a big scale for you personally, um, brand new beginnings. And it is the perfect time to connect into your spirituality, your divinity, your spirit guides. So all those normal spiritual practices that you do, the eighth of the eight, perfect time. Get yourself out in nature to absorb that cosmic energy. Um, some things that would be great would be like group meditation classes where they use the crystal singing bowls because you're going to have so much energy going around, yeah? So just keep that in mind. I'll probably do a blog post or a video on it as well. All right, let's keep going. What else does Capricorn need to know? Mm. You've also got be in service. So this is related to your career and your finances, yeah? Um, being in service is 
it can often be in your own business or it just means that um, in terms of bringing abundance into your life it's helping others out in some way mm. wow it's two here you got culmination of vision and if you have a look at here there's she's there's lots of butterflies in front of her yeah so it's about all of your plans your goals your ideas things you've been working hard on coming together uh, you've also got the message just just be grateful and appreciative of the things working well in your life um, particularly like your friendships your relationships uh, it can also be just overall what's happening that's going well in your life that when that card comes up it's a reminder if any of you are feeling a state of lack is it's an instant switch to move from that state of lack yeah to be just appreciative of what is working well all right let's put you some uh, clarifiers with the energy oracle let's have a look at clear out the old Mm, wow you've got the angel of love here so you may be opening up to love uh, you might need to let go of um, old connections and attachments from the past to move into a new love relationship uh, you've also got indecision here um, it's kind of like go do I want to go left or do I want to go right you might have some choices in love it could be we'll see what the indecision's about why is the indecision here okay key message you've got is to connect into your divinity at this time you're gonna the answers you seek you'll always find within but it's also about connecting into your spirit guides as well listening for the advice mm -hmm. i mean there's never any wrong or right choice it's always just a choice here yeah, you can always correct your course later on all right let's have a look at being in service mm. Wow, there's a lot here about trusting your intuition. Yeah, goddess of the moon. It's sitting directly under indecision. You've also got the door to value openings, money flying through the door. So if you've been worrying about your finances, it's a portent of things that are, are uh, looking, up, looking up. All right, let's have a look at your uh, culmination of vision. Oh, these two want to come out. Mm, wow. Only you've got angel of love you've got a woman holding a heart so for girls you're absolutely ready for love looking for love yeah guys this can be who's waiting there for you if you open yourself up to it um doesn't matter whether you're in a same-sex relationship or not um and you've got this beautiful cornucopia that wants to come into your life this is happiness and success on every level uh you do have to make a decision because it's directly related to that so if there's anything holding you stuck you need to move yourself from that stuck state because you've got love wanting to come in you've got success and happiness wanting to come in um, cornucopia represents wealth prosperity abundance um, your relationships your health your well-being your hope your happiness mm, yeah some of you are holding yourself stuck yeah garden in the gate um, this is tentativeness this is staying in relative security rather than pushing out of your comfort zones to go after what you want yeah or to take up opportunities that are available to you everything is saying that um there's some amazing stuff around you mm -hmm. all right let's have a look at gratitude and appreciation mm, absolutely blossoming abundance this is your ideas and your projects the things you've been working on yourself that are coming into fruition keep going don't stop particularly if you're for some of you if you're at a pivotal point where you've been working really hard and you're going I can't see the results it's not coming I just want to give up don't give up you're nearly there right you're nearly there mm. some of you absolutely need to release some attachments things holding you back in life um, clear out the old big message first card you pulled pretty much mm. Wow, girl, so much about your finances improving. Yeah, woman holding a coin. Um, guys, this can be a love interest. It can be your partner that's, that, that things are changing for as well. Mm. You got the message to take that time for rest and rejuvenation as well. Yeah, particularly been working really hard. Okay, let's pull you some guidance with the Goddess Guidance deck. So let's have a look at this top row about clearing out the old angel of love's bit of indecision going on. Mm, it's two here. Yeah. You're a magical person, Rhiannon. You can create whatever it is you want to create in your life. You've got all the resources within you already. Um, absolutely. 
And you've got the message that you don't need to do everything yourself. Yeah, ask for help if you need it. Green Tara. Um, okay, let's have a look at be in service. Trust in your intuition. Daughter value opening. Mm. Got the message, get yourself outside. Yeah, Cordelia. Uh, this is all about grounding and balancing your energies as well as connecting into your spirituality, talking to your spirit guides. Mm. So much here about trusting yourself. This is your third message to trust yourself. There's an owl here which represents wisdom and truth. Yeah, Athena, trusting your inner wisdom and taking action. A lot about going within. Um, all right, let's have a look at your culmination vision. Mm. Absolutely need to take a leap of faith, Capricorn. Move yourself forward. There's so many opportunities that want to come into your life. Yeah. Mm, here it is. Big fat golden opportunity coming, Capricorn. Yeah, your mana. Important doors are opening for you. Have the courage, the faith to walk through those doors and accept those opportunities. It's directly related to cornucopia, your wealth, your abundance, your finances. It's also related to love. Okay. Let's have a look at the other side over here. We've well, got woman holding a coin, a bit of things, the attachment holding you stuck. Oh, that flew out. Mm. Sitting right next to rest and rejuvenation is taking that quiet time for contemplation, meditation, figuring out what's holding you stuck. Mm, absolutely, confirmation all over your reading. Like Shimi, bright future, stop worrying, everything's going to be fine. Wow, you could not get a clearer message. All right, put you a bit more guidance with the crystal reading deck. So, uh, we're having a look at your top row here about uh, clearing out the old, being ready for love. Mm. Uh, guided meditations would be amazing for you. Yes, yeah, spirit quartz. I'll pop the link up here to the list that's on on uh, playlist that's on my YouTube channel. Yeah, they're amazing, amazing. Mm. Again, double, triple confirmations about being really grateful for what's working well in your life. It absolutely speaks to you seeing lack rather than the positive things happening in your life. And another message to take some time out to relax and unwind. Um, mm -hmm. It just feels some of you have been going, going, going in just to stop, be still and release, release pent up emotions and stress and just ground your energy back into your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at uh, be in service, trust in your intuition, your wisdom. Getting outside. Mm. Some of you need to seek a healer, which may be just to balance your energies. It can also mean that some of you, your life path, life purpose, new mind, is a healer. That can take all sorts of forms. Mm. Wow. There's some relationship healing going on. Morganite. It kind of speaks to your opening energy about, um, for those of you that are in a relationship, because what came out with it is a soulmate, yeah? You've got a soulmate here, master teacher card in this deck, right hand in hand with relationship healing. It kind of speaks to if things have been rough in your relationships, it's going to be smoothing out, but you co-create that, yeah? Um, it can also mean for some of you that you may reconcile with the soulmate, it's going to be relationship healing. Hmm. And uh, in terms of all the opportunities that are here, this is related directly to your vision, your cornucopia, your taking a leap of faith. It's facing the shadow side of self, black obsidian, figuring out what's holding you stuck, why you're indecisive. Often it's fear and doubt, lack of confidence in self. Um, things you're saying to yourself, you need to face it so you can move forward. Mm, so much here about doing meditation. Of <laughs> music. Um, three, four, four messages, Capricorn. You're on notice from spirit. Mm -hmm. um, meditation, it's so easy, right? Don't ever think you've got to sit there cross legged and this is boring as. Yeah, I never do it like that. Make it as comfortable as possible. Lay down flat on something really comfortable. Get lots of blankies so you're nice and warm. In a darkened space, get your candles burning, your incense, your crystals out to amp up the energy of the room. Play the guided meditations. It doesn't matter if you fall asleep. Um, particularly pick some of those releasing cords and attachments to yourself. Look at the Lisa Watley ones. 
they're really good uh, in the playlist. Just relax, yeah. You can put your hand over your heart chakra, the other hand over your sacral chakra, because uh, everybody's got energy healing capabilities, yeah. you find that very soothing. Try that, yeah, try it. All right, well, let's have a look at the other side over here where you've got your coin, your bright future. Mm. For some of you, your animals are going to need a bit of attention, yeah, chrysotile. Um, it can mean you've got a deep connection to animals. It can also mean that your animal spirit guide may show itself to you more regularly. And also be mindful of the uh, moon cycles that are going to affect you emotionally or can have that impact. Let's pull you one more. Mm. There's definitely a communication coming in, yeah, Aquamarine. There's a job offer coming in for some of you, yeah. Communication can also be as part of your divine gifts and talents, it can be, or it's about how you communicate with others, particularly with relationship healing. Do you give and receive as much as the other person in terms of listening to other people's opinions rather than and seeing their side of stuff rather than just seeing your own? Mm, absolutely. Here we go. Here's the do not fear the unknown, the changes trying to come into your life. Mm, so much here, yeah. Change is unavoidable. It's coming, Capricorn. You've got so much that wants to, so much good stuff that wants to come into your life. And trust in magic. You've got the universe trying to help you. Um, mm -hmm. Let me pull you up the guidance on do not fear the unknown because it's so important. It may give you a little aha moment. It says, the ugly is not always bad and evil, the beautiful not always good and just. Failure is not predetermined, nor is it given that others laugh at you if you choose to follow your dreams. If your fear of the unknown makes you question and judge, do not let another's experience be the truth that guides you. Do not allow your fear of an unknown outcome hold you prisoner. Your own experience could be both different and rewarding. So live. Mm, yeah. Such good advice. All right. Pull your crowning energy, Capricorn, from the Rumi Oracle. And uh, if this is the first time you're watching one of my readings, the crowning energy, sometimes it can feel a little bit long, yeah, but it brings the whole reading together and it's usually a very healing and soothing message from spirit. So stick around. Ah, oh, yeah. You've pulled the cosmic heart. It's very beautiful. It's number eight, by the way, which represents infinity. Oh, open straight up to it. So it's a super important message for you. It says, Capricorn, I was dead, I became alive. I was tears, I became laughter. The power of love arrived and made me everlasting power. I have seen everything, I have no fear. I have the heart of a lion and I shine like Venus Rumi. I hear it and weep in sublime reverence. I bow to this living, beating, loving heart of the universe. It echoes through all of creation. Once, some time ago, I was deaf. I had not heard one true sound. Much noise, but no truth, so I believed in many things not worth believing in. Then in a moment of crisis that cracked open my heart, I was given a gift. And though I felt fear and confusion, a gift came to me more powerful than the temporary ailments. That gift was the ability to hear the sound beneath all life. I heard it, the sacred sound of the beating heart of the universal love. And now I know that belief in unworthy things like fear and doubt is lunacy. Even my loneliness became unconvincing to me. We are animated by this living heartbeat, this part of life that is sustained by it. You and I, the planet, the birds, the fishes, emerge from the great source of this beating heart of the universe. It pumps life through our veins. And what proof of this is needed? You live. That is the proof. I hear it everywhere now. It has become so loud. Louder than any word of fear, it resonates through my soul and eclipses any tremor of anxiety. There is a time on the journey of love when the beloved, that would be you and me, sweet soul, is prepared to engage more completely with the heart of the divine lover. 
The preparation will be a rich process, spiritually speaking. It may feel like being beaten, pummeled, simmered and stirred in the pot of the Divine Master Chef to become a sacred and savoury meal fit for the most heavenly feast. This is a courageous and bold process, one that will create the most delicious aromas in the soul, and yet it will likely take us to the place we would rather avoid. Places of confrontation with pain, but where the loss of its grip on us no longer lets us quake and retreat from life in fear and uncertainty. You have been through many tantalizing trials, the push to surrender fear, the realization that your attempts at control amount to not so much. Actually, why not abandon them altogether? The trials have asked you to confront every part of your being that holds itself back in resistance to what is, in resistance to what life presents at this very moment. You're being asked to become comfortable with the possible discomfort of not knowing and to understand you don't have to understand anything for life to work itself out with perfect synchronicity and generous grace. You've been asked to bear darkness without losing hope for the return of the light. You've been asked to trust in your own heart wisdom when your mind was terrorized by nightmares and hallucinations of fear. They were so powerful you were certain that must be real, that you would be crazy not to run and hide, somewhere, somehow. And yet here you are, still loving, still wise, and ready for love, a love bigger than you've ever experienced before. So we step forward together, you and I. I link my arms through yours, and I urge you on. Let us run together and jump over the edge. No more half living in any way for you and me. We will weep crystal tears, and we will laugh with such joy that the stars burst forth, born upon our exhalation. We will hear the beating of the cosmic heart, pounding in our ears, and how we shall dance to it. That sacred, intoxicating rhythm that moves hips and hands and hearts, raising the soul from slumber. But that heart does beat so loud. It can be startling to the parts of you, unused to such wild, unconditional affection and rowdy playfulness. You may worry that this Great love is not going to be careful enough with you. What if you get tossed around in the great oceans of love? You will surely be disorientated and become lost to the world you once knew. And how will you know where to go then? Fear not, my soulmate. Love has its wisdom and its way. We shall become lost in the genius together, whilst our minds are tipped this way and that, tumbled in love's great waves. We shall be forced to surrender our useless intelligence and become mindless. Then how easy it shall become for the perfection of love to guide us, for there will be nothing to question and resist. We will no longer have to find the way, for we will have become the way. This oracle comes with special guidance for you. More love is rushing towards you like a great cosmic tsunami. You will struggle with this blessing to the extent that you will hold attempt to hold on to what has been so don't let go let it move you you'll perhaps get some water up your nose but nothing that will come to you that you cannot handle you'll be disheveled somewhat undoubtedly yet as you are washed upon love's shining shore keeping every hair in place will be the last thing on your mind you'll be too caught up in the wonder of perfection Realising how deeply loved you are and how unnecessary it is to contrive a way to live your purpose. Instead, you'll have no idea what's going on. You'll be surrendered in passionate embrace with life simply being your exquisite, crazy, unique self, saturated with divine love. It will drip from you out of your feet, your eyes, your voice, your touch. You'll water the earth with love's oceanic presence. Oh, how that tsunami will deliver you into divine destiny. No need for contrivance. Let your hair get messed up. Your destiny awaits you now. Oh, it's an amazing message. It really is. All right. There's a sacred honoring ritual here to finish off your reading. And it says, Capricorn, place your hands on your stomach and the other over your heart. Focus on your breath gently flowing in and out. And when you're ready, say the following aloud. Just listen, yeah. Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, with all the wild love and unconditional affection of the universal heart, help me now. 
I trust in my own heart wisdom and the truth of your love for me. Please help me trust in the flow of life. Let go of my fixed plans and ideas and open up to the genius of love itself. May I realize that my destiny will unfold with absolute perfection and may I trust in the signs that I'm given. May I be able to release any false guidance based in fear and may I open up instead to the genuine guidance and inner knowing based in love. Under the grace of your protection, may this be so. Feel the warmth of your hands on your body and just breathe. When you're ready, simply place your hands in prayer position and bow your head gently to your hands. This is your simple and powerful action that reminds you of this truth. Your head is supposed to bow to your heart, not try to dominate or control it. You have completed the sacred honoring ritual. Wow, I have to say, such a powerful message for you at this time, based on your reading, which everything says that everything's here for you. You just need to, need to let go of the fear and the doubt. Mm -hmm. All right, love to hear your feedback in terms of how this resonated with you. Um, I do read all the comments, I do respond. Might take me a little while, just be patient, yeah. Um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you really enjoy this. Don't forget, grab your coupon code before you go to get that personal reading with me to get the $10 off if you're so inclined. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.